All right, have you ever been burned by getting stuck with a bad check? A lot of merchants have. But now the district attorney's office is launching a new program to fight back against the problem that ultimately costs you, the consumer, money. Fox News reporter Steve Alexander has more. Mobile County District Attorney Ashley Rich announced the new program this morning. You can now find out information about people charged with and convicted of writing bad checks by logging on to the district attorney's website. They can actually see pictures of people who are wanted um, for writing worthless checks. We hope that they will go onto that website and look and see if they recognize anybody or can give us any tips or information on how to locate those people. You can also see how much they owe. Rich hopes the addition to the DA's website will be especially helpful to business owners. Merchants, the actual businesses, um, can go online and create a most wanted poster of people that have written them bad checks and put it up in their business. What's more, there's a place where people convicted of the crime can pay online by credit card. Merchants like the owner of Inside Up Boutique in downtown Mobile are just finding out about the new program. It sounds like a pretty good thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. We don't have a big problem with that. We have had a, you know, a couple of issues that ended up being resolved, but it it's, takes time, and like you said, it, it costs money. And bad checks don't just hurt merchants. They hurt all of us. Someone goes into a business, buys goods, um, writes the merchant a bad check, then the merchant has to end up paying for that merchandise that has basically been stolen from them, and the way the merchant does that is passes along that cost to all of us. And Rich says she's investigating about 36,000 pending bad check cases in Mobile. Reporting from Mobile, Steve Alexander, Fox 10 News. Well, if you want to see how the program works, log on to our website, fox10tv.com, and we'll have, we have a link to the district attorney's site.